Hey, what's up? It's Jose. So right now what I'm preparing to do is an oil change. The first oil change on my Harley Sportster Iron 883. I messed up. I ended up putting too much oil in the oil tank. Um, and this was just something that uh, I ignorantly did uh, when the bike was actually in its most aggressive lean position. I had checked the oil and freaked out because I didn't see anything reading or it was really low I can't remember what I thought at the time but I was like well I might as well add some oil and unfortunately now uh, when I run the bike and it gets to operating temperature and I'm you know cruising um, I've gotten to the point where I see the bike leaking oil now it's causing an issue so I'll show you here but when I park the bike um, I've had a few spots uh, a few days where it's just uh, dripping out and it's definitely too much. So I don't wanna run the bike with an excessive amount of oil. I also don't wanna just continue to run the bike and let it drip out because it might pose more of a risk. Kind of causing an issue here where some of that oil is getting onto other components, other hoses, other uh, wires, and uh, it's just not a good look. Um, you know, I definitely don't want to ruin the bike by uh, running too much oil in there. So I'm going to uh, fix that up and I'm going to clean this area up and uh, just hopefully get it back to the right uh, spec for oil. You know, I haven't done an oil change on this. I've never done an oil change on a motorcycle either. So this will all be kind of new, but from my understanding, it's easier than changing the oil on a car. We'll see. How this goes it shouldn't take too long uh, yeah so I'm gonna start the bike up and just let it run and we'll drain that out and clean this up So that was the easy part, I guess, just warming up the bike. Um, there are just a few things I need to do um, to get started. So. so on my bike here, it looks like uh, there's a clip here that's retaining the hose, uh, which is what needs to drain. So I'm gonna uh, try to move this. So as you can see, there's this uh, hose clamp here. Uh, looks like I could use a flathead screwdriver. So one other tip before starting to drain the oil is to uncap your oil tank. And as you can see, that's a lot of oil. I fucked up. That's with the bike on its side. Uh, so hopefully, by taking off the oil tank cap, the fluid of the oil will drain much quickly. I have to undo the whole thing. Just there it goes. All right. So as that finishes out, I'll show you what the inside of the oil tank actually looks like hopefully you're able to get a good view i'll move this light around a little bit so you can see maybe what i see uh yeah pretty interesting uh it's an oil tank so it's nothing too crazy but as i mentioned earlier uh, some of that oil was kind of getting into other parts of the swing arm uh kicking it off onto the tires and then ultimately onto the belt and also the wheel and tires themselves uh, posing in my opinion some dangerous risky business so i didn't want any of that i uh, haven't cleaned the bike since i got back um, but yeah hopefully this will help clean it up and have it back on the road with no issues um, and i'll have to kind of dig in here and kind of clean all that up because oil definitely splashed up and out all over the place so time to finish this up 
and got this uh, plug back in its place. I'm gonna fit it and tighten it down um, and then uh, move on to the next thing. So I'm definitely not gonna try and over tighten this, but put enough pressure that you can see it squeeze the hose and then kind of pull on that a little bit here. And I don't feel any play. This is kind of just past tight, so that seems like it's good enough for me right now. Um, again, this is gonna be rerouted upward onto the clip that's held here. I know that on some previous models, some older models, this hose itself actually hung down pretty low. So uh, I don't know if that's just a redesign on these 2017s, but there's a clip for it. So I'm gonna clip it in place. We're gonna move on to the next part here. Um, which is the oil filter. All right, so with the oil filter, it actually may drip and leak out onto some of these other components. I'll try to avoid making a huge mess. All right, so I've been struggling with this for a minute wearing the glove, but once I took the glove off, I was able to actually Get a better grip, although the engine is hot. Definitely feel. Ah, yep, like I broke it loose. It's only real fast. To avoid. Ah, slow drips. Alright. So, as I suspected, with some on this bag and not on the sides there all right so that's pretty much done draining and wipe uh, all this excess off to make sure it's nice and clean here before i put the new filter on So as you can see on the new filter here, um, there's kind of this black gasket here. This will just suck right up into that section. Uh, and what you wanna do is just kind of put some of the oil uh, that you're gonna add into it before you install it. Um, probably only halfway to maybe three fourths of the way up so that you're able to tilt it in and then tighten it. Uh, the other thing is that this being Harley, uh, low miles. I went and just got the uh, 2050 from Harley. So this is what they recommend, what they uh, had in stock and what I picked up. So, so as I mentioned, I'm just gonna leave this up here as I load it up. Yep. That's about halfway. Place. You don't want to force it too far past where it kind of stops um, just because it may cause an issue when you get to the point of taking it off plus there's kind of a vacuum, a suction that creates that seal um, and so that should be just enough and I'm only going to go to hand tight with the gloves again I don't really see the point in over tightening that. So that's Are you ready to do it? Yeah, I'm finishing up. How is she? Okay. She bring the bouncer in. What? No, we're just gonna put it in What do you think? You never been out here. Daddy has a mess. Yep. Okay, so it's right at the middle, probably just a little bit low. So now I'm gonna start the bike up. And so I'm gonna open up the garage again and get that going.
that seems to be about it. Um, next thing I need to do is check the dipstick level and then um, check to see if I need to add any more fluid. Uh, but at this point, uh, it's pretty much a wrap. Uh, everything seemed to pan out. I noticed that when I went to turn on the bike, the oil light indicator uh, kind of flashed a few times, but then it went away right away. So that was one of the things that they mentioned in some of these videos is that you would probably want to see um, <laughs> if there is uh, an issue with your bike, the indicator light would not uh, go off. And so it went off right away uh, and I'm happy with that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna check the dipstick here real quick and then we are probably gonna just clean all this up and go to dinner. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like videos like this where they're super simple, there's nothing crazy beyond just kind of doing a quick repair or just kind of learning as I go, uh, feel free to stick around by subscribing, uh, liking the video. And then if you wanna interact, I'm pretty good about uh, responding to comments. So. Uh, comment down below and I will check in um, every once in a while on that and respond. So yeah, again, thanks for watching. Uh, pretty simple, quick weekend thing you could do in about 20, 30 minutes. Um, so it's not too tough as long as you kind of know the steps and now you do. So yeah, thanks. Bye.